is that's not supposed to be amongst the youth of our people. According to the Bible, that's called fornication. Have y'all ever heard that before? All right, well, if y'all give us a few minutes, we'll show y'all, man. Because according to the Bible, our nation, we come from a royal bloodline according to the scriptures. And we come from the prophets. Have y'all ever heard of, uh, of Abraham? Huh? He said Lincoln. No, not Abraham Lincoln. That's a European. That's right. You heard of Abraham? See, he was a, he looked just like us. See? He was a black man. And he and he was a man that feared the most high. And he loved the most high. That's our forefather. So we're gonna teach you about your heritage and show according to the Bible what's supposed to be for the young man and also the older man and all our people that populate the ghettos in the slum. Alright? So this is uh, Tobit chapter 4 and verse 12. For we are the children of the prophets. Exactly. So the Bible says we are the children of the prophets. Keep reading. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See, that's the bloodline the Most High chose. Because according to the scriptures, these men feared God and walked in his ways. So the Most High made a covenant with Abraham, and he passed it down to Isaac, and it went from Isaac to Jacob. And from Jacob, Jacob had 12 sons, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel, like you see on this sign right here. Have anybody ever told y'all that before? So if, if I was to ask you, what was the nationality of your father based upon this sign right here, what would you tell me? Because you got on the right side, you got 12, 12 tribes, and on the left side, you got who they are today in America. So if I was to ask you what was the nationality of your father based upon this sign, go on, come up for a minute. It's all right. And, and go on, check the sign out. So if I was to ask you, young brother, what was your, the nationality of your father based upon this sign, what would you tell me? Y'all back here, too. On this sign right here, on the right side, there's 12 tribes. And on the left side, it's who they are today. So what's the nationality of y'all father? That's a question. Because we just read. Bring it out. Sorry? Say it again. The, the first one. Right. So that's Judah. So that's the tribe that your father is from, likewise, that you're from. The tribe of Judah. All right. So the Most High made a covenant with the father of all these tribes right here. And he told them, get uh, 2 Ezra chapter 6. Chapter 6 and starting at verse 7. This is 2 Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the time? No, I'm sorry, I'm three. So this second Ezra chapter three. And verse seven, and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way, which he transgressed. And immediately thou appointest death in him and in his generations, of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number. And every people walked after their own will and did wonderful things before thee and despised thy commandments. So now, what we read right here was from the beginning, when the Most High created the earth, he chose Adam, all right? And then it went from Adam, and he said, after Adam, men walked after their own will and, and sinned against the Lord and broke the commandments. So we leading up to a point. Keep reading. And again, in process of time, thou broughtest the flood upon those that dwelt in the world and destroyest them. Okay. Just, just a few more precepts. Go ahead, Dr. Verse 10, and it came to pass in every in every of them that as death was to Adam, so was the flood to these. Nevertheless, one of them thou leftest, namely Noah, told that before, with his household, of whom came all righteous men. Right. 
And it happened that when they dwelt upon the earth, began to multiply, and had gotten them many children, and were a great people, they began again to be more ungodly than the first. Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them whose name was Abraham. Exactly. That I want to show up right there. It's all, it's all. I forgot the starting point. I told the story at seven. That went from at Noah, Adam, Adam and Noah's generation to Abraham. I want to start at Abraham. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. Exactly. This is the, what we read out of the King James Bible is the book of the commandments of the Most High. So that's what, so that's why we even out here to teach our people, those of so-called African American, Latino and indigenous people on the earth that they the holy people of God, the Israelites. Keep reading. And the law that endures forever. And the law that endures forever. So what should we be doing while we living on this earth as being the people of the most high? The laws, the law, statutes and commandments of God. Keep reading. All they that keep it shall come to life. Exactly. All they that keep it shall come to life. Hey, how you doing, brother? Hey, and let me ask you a question real quick. All right, brother. All right, brother. But the Bible says, all, read that again. All that keep it shall come to life. So all that keep the laws of the Most High shall come to life. See? Hey, young brother, let me ask, let me ask you a question. Did you know that according to the Bible, we're supposed to do the laws of God? And that, the, and that the King James Version Bible, those are the testimonies on how we're supposed to live on this earth. Start there from the top, Bob. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. Exactly. All they that keep it shall come to life. Keep on. But such as leave it shall die. But such as leave the laws shall die. So what if you don't know the laws then? You need to get to know the laws or else what will happen. The Bible says ye shall die. All right? Real quick. What's up, y'all? Y'all ain't scared of no rain. Come listen to what we're saying. So now, let's find out for the person who want to stay in the mental state of not knowing the most high's law. Exactly. To walk in the will of the most high as it is written and not lean to our own mind or our own understanding. Because when we do that, we fall short of the grace of the Most High. All right? Get, get Titus chapter 2. Let's deal with that. Titus chapter 2. Because we are living in the grace of, of the Most High in Christ. All right? So we're being in the grace of the Most High in Christ. This is what has to keep continuing to happen amongst our people. See? First and foremost, we got to deal with the fellowship of the Lord. And we're dealing with the fellowship of the Lord. This is what's going to happen. 2 and 11. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. So we all know that what? The grace of the Most High. We all have received the grace of the Most High because we were taught that we were Israelites. We were taught that we the holy people of the Most High and we have to do something. Keep the commandments. All right? So the grace of the Most High has appeared unto us. Right, keep reading. Teaching us. Teaching us. So that's so that's the thing that we got to always stay in rotation with. The teachings of the scriptures. See? Teaching us. Keep going. That denying ungodliness and worldly lust. That denying ungodliness and worldly lust. See? As being men and women that know the truth. Guess what we do sometimes? We fall prey and subject to our own lusts and our own whims. Right. So, the, so, so what we have to do is continue to be taught. We have to continue to be taught and deal with the grace of the Most High. Y'all want to come over here? Yeah. yeah. What about the What? 
what? Who's our enemy? You know what, brother? I can show you who your enemy is. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. You can't get no good, no good screen game. I'm looking y'all out of eye. You can see what I see. I can see what you see. We can't be enemies. The That's enemy, right. The enemy, that word right there, man, it's, it's something within you. You know what I'm saying? And the enemy, how he works, he works where you won't even understand it, where he can start confusion, it can start, you know, uh, body problems, heart problems, it can start, you know, world problems. The enemy. And he, and he, the only place he can work is from you know what I'm saying? And it's just it's it's amazing. It's something that can that can that can grow that can grow from the power of the tongue, the knowledge we use. So let me help you out. Bro. So now I'm gonna show you man's worst enemy, Jeremiah 17. Because you, 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 you're saying a lot of things, and I'm listening to everything you're saying. So I'm going to deal with the last thing you said about dealing with the enemy. All right? Because there's there's multiple enemies on the earth. One enemy is spiritual. All right? And then and then what? Another enemy is what? Flesh. Flesh, right? So let's deal with the spiritual enemy. Jeremiah 17 and 9. So it's Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. Let me ask you a question. What do you think the heart is talking about in this precept? The heart is Speak. deceitful. Speak it. I, I, I was listening, but she was talking about Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? So now this is one of the enemies that you're referring to. So now the heart is talking about, guess what? The mind. So the Bible is saying that the mind is wick wicked above all things. Correct. Who can know? See? So who can know the mindset of a man that tells him to do what? Steal. That tells him to do what? Kill. That tells him to rob or commit adultery. See, all those things are sins according to the Bible. See? And according to the Bible, so now, since, since the heart is deceitful, the mind is deceitful, you got to find out how, how to strengthen your mind. All right? Get Psalms 119. Psalms 119 and verse 9. And then, and then also hold that lid. Can you read for me to us? So you get Psalms 119 and 9, and then you get... Uh, so this is Psalms chapter 119 and 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Or wherewithal shall a man know the things that's going on in his mind? Because remember, the mind is desperately wicked. Who can know? It? And it's very tempting. And it's very tempting, right? Keep going. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So the Bible is teaching us the way that we know our, even ourselves and the things that we think and the things that we're doing wrong is based upon what? The word of the most high. Because because all the things that we name that the mind give place to uh, Mark 7. So, because all the things, you know what? Yeah. Because all the things that we name that the mind give place to is sin, according to the Bible. And we gonna find out what sin is. Okay. You know what destroys all of that though? All that sin? All of those wickedness and ways, all of those uh, desperate, lustful thoughts as killing you know what destroyed it? You tell me, bro. It's something pure. And, and, it, and it's full of color. It's full of life. It's full of joy. It's full of healing. Circulation up under it. It's called, it's called the blood of Jesus. Okay. Right. Well, guess what? That's what we're talking about, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm already there. So we going to get further off into that. I got one to say this again when I was 11 with a young brother, man. When I say this, I'm in a spiritual war with it all. Because I, I see visions every day. I see showers. I see. And, and with this being said, my eyeglasses, you know, I can look straight through the sun. I'm not saying that I'm all that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not. But if I wouldn't take the, the, the patience and the guidelines and the steps of following my reflective energy, 
like you gonna be yourself, you gonna be your mirror, you gonna fight, fight the demon. Your closet is gonna be the same as well as the rest of the brother. But if I wouldn't have stood still and, and grabbed hold with myself and the single minded, right here, this whole this shape right here can form a kind. say brother that I'm with you on and, and you're right about it. it's Christ because like the brother said that's what we teach you but according to Christ when you deal and live in Christ it comes with something and that's the things that we was telling you about the mindset because when because when Christ came get Matthew 1 because when Christ came on the earth this is what Christ came to do and we what we feel to read about what Christ came to do Christ also taught other things that we need to know about pertaining to what our, our ways, the ways of our people, and the life that we have to live through Him. Right. Okay. So before you get one and twenty, what was Christ? What was Christ? Was he a prophet, or was he an Israelite, or was he? You know, he was both. He was the greatest Israelite. Right. 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 And was he a Muslim? No, he was a Christian. Not. He's the son of the living God. And which is and he's also our king, Lord and Savior. Okay, so now read that and then we're gonna get Luke chapter one. I, I feel y'all. I don't mean no harm. So this is I Luke chapter. Going. I gotta get Matthew one and twenty one. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh. For he shall save his people from their sins. So that's the so that's the object of, of Christ. So if we say that we live in Christ, or we dealing with Christ, we have to what? Forsake sin. Because Christ came teaching against sin. Alright? So now let's find out what sin is. You got that? This is first John chapter. I got three. it. Okay. Alright. Well, these are these are a sin before you go. Right. I know sin. What sin is. You know, do you know that you in sin? Everybody is. Everybody in sin. Okay, well, some people are trying to come up out of sin. Exactly. So we are here looking for the people that want to come up out of sin. We're not forcing nothing. Let me ask you a question. When you go to the doctor, when you go to the doctor, you got a choice. You want help or not? The doctor knows. All right, please. According to the Bible, who y'all are and what should have said. First John chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Exactly. How y'all brothers doing, man? So what we out here teaching is that we have to deal with the black Messiah. And his name is Christ. You know what I'm saying? Did, did y'all know according to the Bible that Christ was a, a, a black man? That's well, that's good. So so now and, and we also teaching that we have to deal with the laws of God, deal with the laws of the Most High. All right, and the Bible says it's telling us what sin is according to the Bible. This is First John chapter three and verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Exactly. So the Bible is saying sin is the transgression of the Most High's laws. So let's find out some of the Most High's laws that we have to follow to not be in sin. Get Luke chapter, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, get Le Leviticus 19. Y'all young men, do y'all know what y'all responsibility and duty is and reason for living, man? Or y'all just walking the street looking for the next girlfriend? It's time to be men. You probably just walking the street looking for the next girlfriend. Get the book of Ecclesiastes. We're going to show you the whole duty while you was born. And now when you come of age, you know what the most I do? He began to call, call you. And you're supposed to be like, here I am, here I am. Yeah. So this is Ecclesiasticus chapter, Ecclesiastes 12 right. and 13. Listen to it. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Here's the purpose, read. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Young brother, bite your nails. What's the duty of man? Uh, listen to him. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Why did God create man? Say it loud. You can't talk, but see, 
That's what children do. That's what I'm saying. I ain't trying to be mean. You're a man now. You're a young man. How old are you? 18? 17? 17? Well, you finna be a man. 